Welcome to The Film Geek, I'm Kyle Luters. Thank you for tuning in for our last episode of the semester. Before we get started, let's go over our rating system. The best rating a movie can get is you should take a date, pay full price, and buy the popcorn and coke. The next level down is to go to the matinee showing of the movie. After that, wait for it to come out on DVD. And lastly, if the movie is really bad, wait for it to come out on TBS. We've got a couple of movies to review this week, so let's get to it. This week I saw Harold and Kumar 2. This film picks up right where the first one left off. Everyone's favorite stoners are back, and they're on their way to Amsterdam when a mistaken case of identity leads them to being detained by the Department of Homeland Security. Despite several pleas, the two are shipped off to Guantanamo Bay as they are suspected of being terrorists. The two escape fairly quickly. With the help of a friend in Miami, they sat on an unforgettable journey to clear their names. There's the story, now here's a clip. I want to be in Amsterdam. This is, this is amazing. <laughs> This is bigger than I thought. North Korea and Al Qaeda working together. We're Americans, man. We love America. Hey, 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 zip it, Hello Kitty. Welcome to Guantanamo Bay. You boys like to spoon? Uh. No? They were locked up for less than an hour and they already escaped. It's gonna die! It's gone! They're not stars of food. Hi. Oh. What's up with the uh, orange jumpsuits? Yeah. What's up with this party? I'm sick of all the hype over topless. I always like topless. Well, I'm starting the bottomless trend. God. Oh my God, dude! Drink it in. Ask the least what they know about their son's terrorist activity. Look, we've been American citizens for over 40 years. They're speaking some sort of dialect I've never heard before. From the geniuses who took you to White Castle, John Cho. He's not a terrorist, he's just, he's just an idiot. Cal Penn. You remember that time that you stole that monkey and put it in Rosenberg's dorm room? Had I known that the monkey had AIDS, I never would have done that. Rob Corddry. Everybody <laughs> And Neil Patrick Harris as Neil Patrick Harris. If you want to know the secret of being, you will come with us. I fought the law, the law one. I fought the law, the law one. Dude, we gotta get out of here before the owners of this house find us. No way. Kind of delicious. Is that you? Harold and Kumar escape from Guantanamo Bay. The first movie was a modest success, but developed a cult following on DVD. That being said, the second one is just like the first one, only on a much larger scale. The first one was just about getting across town, whereas this one takes place all over the world. The movie is much more raunchy than the first one as well. The acting and the writing were good, but nothing superb. All in all, Harold and Kumar is good enough to go to the matinee showing. And now it's time for upcoming flicks. The summer of 2008 is going to be a blockbuster summer. One of the most anticipated movies this summer features one of America's most beloved heroes. The movie is also creating a huge buzz that is being viewed as actor Heath Ledger's last performance. Batman comes back onto the big screen this summer with The Dark Knight Returns. Christian Bale as Batman in the epic sequel to the 2005 Batman Begins. In this movie, Batman is still rounding up all the loose inmates from Arkham Asylum. A new villain challenges him in ways he never thought possible. The villain is fighting at the core of who Batman is and might be too much for him to handle. There's the story and here's a clip. You've changed things. Forever. There's no going back. See, to them, you're just a freak. Like me. Nothing. No name, no other alias. Clothing is custom. Nothing in his pockets but knives and lint. Evening, Commissioner. Why so serious? Where is he? People are dying. What would you have me do? Endure. 
You can be the outcast. You can make the choice that no one else will face. The right choice. Gotham needs you. A little fight in here. I like that. Then you're gonna love me. Now that's more like it, Miss Wayne. Part of the plan. Come on, hit me! Let's put a smile on that face. <laughs> First off, this movie's going to be huge. Any Batman movie is sure to produce a large following. With the untimely death of actor Heath Ledger, this following is likely to grow as fans are going to flock to see his last performance. From all the clips and pictures I've seen, Ledger's Joker will frighten and amaze everyone. Many of the actors from the first movie signed on to do this one, so moviegoers will be seeing some familiar faces. With a strong storyline, a great ensemble cast, and a director who really understands the character of Batman, The Dark Knight is sure not to disappoint. I plan on taking a date, paying full price, and buying the popcorn coke several times on this one. Trust me, it's going to be excellent. Now let's take a look at what's new on DVD. Each Tuesday, new movies are released on DVD. For April 29th, here's the lineup. 27 Dresses, The Diving Bell and the Butterfly, The Golden Compass, King Corn, Nan King, and The Weeknd. The two movies that stand out this week are 27 Dresses and The Golden Compass. 27 Dresses is a great pick if you have a date. It has something for everyone. It's funny, but still a chick flick. The Golden Compass is also a great pick. It's about a girl saving her friends from terrible experiments. Nan King is about a Japanese POWs during World War I, and I plan on reading, renting this one this week. And that will wrap it up for this episode of The Film Geek. We would like to remind you that you can view all of CU TV's programming on YouTube now. Simply go to YouTube and type in CU Internet TV with no spaces and click search. We want to give a special thank you to Carmike Theaters and Charlie Clark of the Lawton Constitution for all their help in putting together our show. I also want to personally thank Dr. Matt Jenkins, Patrick Turner, and Nadia Nunez, and you, the viewer, for watching us each week here on The Film Geek. You have made the show a great success and one that we are very proud of. On behalf of Dr. Matt Jenkins and the entire crew down here at CUTV, I am the Film Geek Kyle Luters, and we'll see you at the box office. <laughs>